the week one. Monday night is Baltimore visiting the Raiders. Stop. <laughs> Come on now, man. I don't even have to say anything. I don't have to say anything. It's a blowout. These niggas tackle, I'm bringing a pack. I'm a roller with stars and I'm smoking on plaque. I'm eye on the eye on the prize, so I don't do distractions. I'm coming back. Yo, what it do? It's your boys, Juice and Lua. We back here with another episode for y'all. But before we get into this episode, we'll let y'all know. Juice and Lou merch is coming out real soon. We're gonna have a website that y'all can go and you know, we'll have something for y'all to go shop on, or you can contact us via Instagram, Twitter, whatever. You know, just contact us, we're gonna get you right. But in today's yes, episode, sir. we're gonna get you guys uh the NFL week one schedule came out. We got some good games in there, so we're gonna talk about them, we're gonna react yeah. to them. Get our uh, predictions on the games. So, uh, we'll uh-huh. dive into it. So, Jay Lou, go ahead and get us started. Yep. So, talking about week one, 2021 season is around the corner. Start September. So, I'm guessing there's a preseason. And like I said, I think there's only three games in the preseason. Nice. But the first week one game we got is the Cowboys at Buccaneers. The defending champs mm. defending their crown against uh, Cowboys, who's rated to have one of the best offenses coming into the year. Who you got Thursday night? Bucks. 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 It's great. It's going to be a high scoring game. I, I, I feel like I don't think it's going to be a blowout just because that defense is still elite on the Bucks, but the offense is loaded. And Dak is healthy, so he's going to have something to prove. Gonna be high scoring game, but the Bucks are gonna take it. So I got maybe a score like 37-34. Okay. okay. Um I'm gonna go with the upset here. I think I'm gonna take the Cowboys week one. Um I don't think I don't think Brady and them will be wow. necessarily ready to play. Um, I'm actually looking forward to seeing this offense they got going into this year. Like I said, Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup, CeeDee Lamb, really high power receivers. I think they'll have a great year. And I'm excited to see how Dak will play coming off injury. Their old lines, uh, Collins is back and Tyrone Smith. Two tackles they were missing last year. They'll be healthy. And, of course, they got Zeke in the backfield. I don't think – I think the Cowboys can put the league on notice winning this game, and I think they'll get it done. I don't think Tom Brady and their team – I don't think they'll come out firing early. I'd probably say Cowboys upset this one 31-24. <laughs> wow. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Next game. For Sunday, we got the Jaguars visiting the Texans. You got who? I like the Jags. I like the Jags in that Deshaun Watson. They're talking about he's probably not going to play in the next uh, in the upcoming season just because of his allegations and stuff. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, I'm interested in seeing how he's going to play. He doesn't have to deal with JJ Watt, so you no, know, he kind of has a relief for his first game. Um, Trevor Lawrence, we'll see how Tim Tebow is with this tight end signing or whatever. I doubt that that's even ever going to work, but we want to see how that goes. The Jags defense is, uh, they're, they're okay. They're okay, but it's the Texans, so they're going to look good. So I got the Jags winning, uh, 20, 20 to 10. Okay. Yeah, I got Jacksonville, too, of course. I want to see Trevor Lawrence play and Travis, uh, Travis, who they drafted, the running back. I want to see how they do coming out together. They play on the same team in college, of course. 
Then I want to see also their offensive weapons. You also added Tim Tebow Diggis signed by the Jags for this year. So I want to see how he plays after an eight-year layoff. So that's going to be interesting. And I'm not sure Deshaun Watson will be there week one with what's going on with him off the field and him being in trade rumors, of course, still. Being not wanting to play for the Texans right now. So I got to go with the Jags. They won uh, one game last year, and it was the first game of the season, too. So I got to, I got the Jags win this one. I'd say, I'd say 27 17. You think they 27 points? Yeah. 27 points. What's the difference between 27 and 20, really? I mean, you had them twenty. I had them twenty, but that's like you're giving them like three touchdowns. I'm yeah. giving them two and some field goals. But hey, okay, I guess. But uh, that's cool. I guess. Yeah. Next game is Steelers at Bills. Mm. So yeah, good one. Well, I saw I saw something, and the top two teams with the hardest schedules are the Steelers at one and the Ravens at two. So those they, they have the hardest schedules of the upcoming season, but the Steelers are going to go through it. I'm going to absolutely love it. <laughs> you know I'm going to love it, but Bills. Who knows what's going on? I don't even know what's going on with the Steelers. Their offensive line is non existent anymore. So they added Najee Harris. Cool. But don't matter if your line sucks. So I got uh, the Bills in an easy win. I got the Bills winning. Twenty four to ten. Twenty four to ten. Okay. Yeah, I got Buffalo taking this game, of course. I expect them to be a good team this year again with Josh Allen making a little bit more progression. They had Emmanuel Sanders this offseason, season. So that's another piece to go with Cole Beasley and Stephon Diggs. Their run game, like I said, is suspect still. But I think their defense will be better this year. And the Steelers, their their offense has a lot of questions, like you said, the O line, and they 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 had Big Ben at quarterback, but how much left of him is there? They did sign Dwayne Haskins, of course, as off season. So Man, that was no signing. That wasn't a signing. So we'll see how the Steelers do this season. Apparently, I didn't know they did have the toughest schedule. Now that's interesting, mm. but. I got to take Buffalo, of course. Uh, I say 28-21. Mike Tomlin can keep games close, especially with that good defense of his. So, yeah. Yeah. I think we'll be close. But I got Buffalo winning. Then, um, okay. The next, the thing is about the, I, I read the whole list. The AFC North. The top 10, all, all teams in the AFC North are in the top 10 for the hardest teams or for the hardest schedule in the league. I was like, wow. And the Bucks have the third easiest schedule next season. So you want to see how that all plays out. Yeah. Okay. Next one. This is a good one. Um, Jets. Zach Wilson debut against Sam Darnold's Panthers. A reunion. Carol- it's in Carolina, though. So That's tough. Who you got in this one? Panthers. By blowout. Panthers. Blowout. Panthers, Panthers blow out. I think they do. Yeah. Uh, Zach Wilson's first NFL game against a good Panthers defense in Carolina. Sam Darnold's going to be out for blood because, you know, you wasted years of my career. I could have been good, but, you know, yeah. 
Sam Darnold going to do his thing. You got Christian McCaffrey, DJ Moore, right. Robbie Anderson. He's still there. Robbie. Mm-hmm. All right. Panthers blow them out for sure. I'm saying like, I'm saying like 27 to 27 to 13. I wouldn't really call that a okay. blowout, but you know, 27 to 13. Okay. I I'm I'm gonna roll with Carolina on this one as well. Of course, Zach Wilson, we don't know what to expect from him. I think he'll do solid his rookie year. Of course, I feel like he should start. Probably most likely will. I mean, he got drafted second and they don't have another quarterback that has the same talent as him on the roster. So their defense, Jets defense is they got a good line. Secondary suspect. They don't have Brian Poole. I don't know if they're going to re-sign him. So, with that being said, I think Carolina overpowers them. I say first game, and it's Robert Saul's first game as a head coach in New York. Right. So, first game, Carolina, Sam Darnold's debut as well, and the blue and black. I say Carolina wins 31-17. 31, okay. okay. Yep. Okay. Next game. This could be interesting as well. Cardinals visit Tennessee. Oh, man. That's tough. Kyler Murray versus King Henry. This close. J.J. Watts debut. A.J. Green as well. A.J. Green, his debut. Titans lost a lot of players, offensively and defensively. I like the Cardinals. I like the Cardinals in this. They got a lot of additions. Derrick Henry is going to be Derrick Henry, but what else you got? You know? Cardinals, they're going to definitely be a uh, – I don't think they'd be a problem next year, but I got the Cardinals in that game being a problem for the Titans. So give me the Cardinals. I'd say 24, 24 to 17. Okay. I, I'm going to roll with Arizona as well, but I'll tell you one thing. I say Derrick Henry gets 150 this game. Yeah. First game. I believe I that. S- I say he can rush for 150 this game. I believe but that. I don't see them winning. Like you said, I think Cardinals have a lot of expectations this season. They got D-Hop. They got Kyler Murray, A.J. Green. O-line, they got Rodney Hudson from uh, Las Vegas Raiders. Defense is healthy. They lost Patrick Peterson. But I'm pretty – I think they drafted a corner. I'm going to say – I can't remember right now the, who they picked, but I'm pretty sure they went defense. And I think that will help them in the long run, starting young and fresh. They already got Isaiah, Isaiah Simmons and Buda Baker at the safeties. So, and also having Chandler Jones back with J.J. Watt, I think they'll be a scary team in that division. So I say they start all week one good. I got them winning... 28-17, Cardinals. 17. Okay. okay. Next game, we got the Chargers visiting the football team. Ooh. <laughs> it's going to be a game. This is going to be a game. A new, uh, new offensive line for the Chargers against the uh, that stacked – Football team defense. Matthew Adianis is back. Injury. Well, should be back. That's tough. Because the Chargers defense is going to be all right, too. I like, I'm like. i going to get the Chargers in this one. I'm going to get the Chargers solely because I think – I don't think the defense cancels out, but one is just slightly better than the other. But – I'm taking the Chargers offense over the football team's offense right now. 
just because the football team doesn't know what quarterback they're going to use next year. So I like the Chargers in this. It's going to be a close one. I don't think high scoring. I think it's going to be low scoring, like 17 – like 17 to 13. No, 17 to 14. Game winning field goal by the Chargers. 17 14. Okay. Yeah. QB play will be a big factor in this one. Depending who they start for the football team, go Ryan, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Taylor Heineke, or Kyle mm-hmm. Allen right now. So that will be a big factor. Now, defense, like I said, Matthew Adianis is coming back for the football team, and they picked up William Jackson from yeah. free agency. They also drafted a linebacker for from Kentucky. Now, with the Chargers, they, like you said, new O-line coming in. They are getting Derwin James back. Hopefully, he'll play healthy this whole year. He, be, he goes in and out the lineup sometimes. And they drafted Asante Samuel Jr. at corner. So their defense is looking solid as well. But I I think I think I I'm gonna agree with you. I think it comes down to quarterback play, in my opinion. And Justin Herbert, I'll take him over any of the three football team quarterbacks right now. So I think he'll get the job done with his weapons, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Austin Eckler. I think he'll get the job done. I got Chargers winning this one. I say 21 17. Chargers. Okay. This one, I mean, it's a decent game. I mean, Vikings at Bengals. Vikings. I don't have anything to say. I don't have anything to say about that. Vikings, (laughs) for sure. The Neil Hunter is cru- is crushing that offensive line. Vikings, mm. simple as that. I don't have to say a score. Vikings. I think I'm gonna go Bengals here. I think they win their debut game of Jamar oh. Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow back. Oh wow! As well as Joe Mixon. I think wow. Bengals. I I mean the Vikings did get Patrick Peterson. Yeah. But what what is really left of him? Their defensive line, they got Daniel Hunter, Michael Pierce still. That could be a problem, but I think offensively, the, the Bengals' weapons will just overpower their secondary. And then Vikings' offense, yeah, they got that bad man, Dalvin Cook. But Kirk Cousins still is their quarterback. Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, I don't – I, I don't believe Kirk Cousins can get the job done. I'm going to have to roll with Joe Burrow in the squad. <laughs> opening, oh, wow. opening day. I say I think it'll be a down to the wire game. 30 to 24, Cincy. 30 wow. to 24. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Next game. Actually, we talked about this yesterday. So we get to see it week one. Seattle at Colts. Interesting. Pretty ironic, but interesting. Give yeah, me very ironic. Give me, like I said, the Colts. Like I said, the Colts. Okay. Easily. Not easily, but I got the Colts. Give me Seattle. Defense, obviously better. Russell Wilson, offensive line, god awful. Like, let's be real here. The offense, the offense, I think, can torch Seattle's defense. Torch. The Colts' offense? Colts' offense, I think, can torch Seattle's defense. Can torch it. i say, like, a 10-point game, like, 34-24 Colts. But Seattle, the hype is going to pipe down this year. The, the Seattle hype is going to pipe down this year. Okay, well, I don't think it will. I think Russell Wilson is still that bad man. So I, I got to go with Russell Wilson. Like I said, it comes this game's a quarterback game. And I'm taking Russell Wilson over Carson Wentz any day oh, of the week. I don't, think, I don't think Seattle's defense will be that bad this year. I don't think it will be that bad. I think it will be average. 
think we average this year. I okay. think Jamal Adams will be, will be playing better and healthy this year. I think he'll rally the secondary as well as Bobby Wagner rallying the front seven. So I got to go with Seattle. I mean, we know who the who they got on offense. DK Metcalf, no one on the court stopping him. So he's going to stop himself dropping dropping balls. We'll see. We'll see about that one. But uh, DK Metcalf and who? Tyler Lockett Tyler and who? Tyler Lockett, Chris Carson. He's been injured half the season last year. It's a new season. New season. Week one. Fresh legs. Everybody. Okay. Okay. Everybody. Fresh legs. So, Same. I got Seattle. I got Seattle 28-23. This game, this next game, is Battle of the Birds. Eagles at Falcons. God. I like, I like the Falcons. I like the Falcons in this. Both defenses are probably going to be average next year. But the, it's a battle of whose offense is better. And the offense who's better is the one with the experienced quarterback and Matt Ryan. And the one who got Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley and just now got Kyle Pitts. I, I, I don't think it's going to be close. I don't think it's going to be close. I, I say 27 to 27 to 12. 27 to 12. I think Philly. I don't think Hurst they get a touchdown. 12? I don't think they get a touchdown. No trust in Jalen Hurts. Devontae Smith. Jalen Rager. Think, I don't think they get a touchdown. I don't think they score a touchdown. Wow. Straight field goal. Okay, you giving the Falcons a lot of credit on defense. I don't think they're that good, but I'm gonna roll with Atlanta too. I got them winning this game. I say 24-17. But I, I'm excited to see Jalen Hurst and Devontae Smith play. I want to see how they work out, as well as Kyle Pitts. And all. So those two rookies, receivers, wideouts, whatever, both catch the ball really good. Mm. I just – Atlanta's defense, I think, will be better. Like I said, when they fired Dan Quinn last year, they started winning more games. I think they were like – they were like one in – Five with Dan Quinn, or one and six, and they finished the season like I think they had. They finished with five or six wins, so they were able to put put together some wins without him. But I like Atlanta in this one. Like I said, twenty four seventeen. Okay. This next game, no one really cares about. I mean, this is gonna be boring. Niners at Lions. Niners. You got Niners. Come on now. Come on now. Let's be real here. I got Niners too. I got Niners. I say thirty. Don't even have to say a score. I don't even have to say a score. It's a, it's a blowout. Let's be real here. Come on now. Come on. This one, the next game is a rematch. AFC Championship. No, AFC Wild Divisional. Divisional. The Browns visit the Chiefs again. I think Browns take it. Browns take it. Wow. They get their rematch. They get their uh, they get their revenge. Uh, this defense, everybody's talking about it. I don't think it's going to be that great, but I think it's going to uh, prove itself in the first week. Baker, I think this offense can do just about the same thing that it did last year. It just it's all it's up to Baker though. But like I said, Chiefs. You know how to beat them now. You just do it. Probably not gonna be that. Well, it just do it, and then yeah, I think I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a close game. But I got Browns winning twenty seven to twenty one. Wow, the great Chiefs only get twenty one points. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna roll with Kansas City. Like I said, for the Washington Chargers game, I, this comes down to quarterback play. And I'm taking Mahomes. I got to take Mahomes. 
He's got his weapons still. Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, Clyde Edwards-Alaire. He got an old line now. One year later, and he still has a – he got his new old line. Orlando Brown, one of the best tackles in the game, protecting his blind side. I think that would be huge this year for him. And, of course, the defense is only getting better. It's only getting better. So, yeah, the Browns are getting a lot of pieces. They got Clowney. They also got Odell coming back. I am actually excited to see what Odell does this year. But I don't think they're they're capable of being the Chiefs this game. I'm going to have to roll with Kansas City. I say high scoring, 34-28 Kansas City. Next game on the list, we have a division matchup. Dolphins visit the Patriots. Who you got there? Give me... Give me Patriots. Bill Belichick is not losing the first game, especially with all the weapons he brought in. We know that they're working this offseason. Defense is back. Not much of what I got to say. Patriots, 17 to, 13, 17 to 14, Patriots. Uh, yeah, I think it will be a close game. I wouldn't be surprised if the Dolphins win, but I'm going to roll with the Pats, too. Uh, another duo, you got two on Jay and Waddle on the same team. And yeah. he's going against either – I think he, Cam Newton may get the starting job over Mac Jones day one. So we won't see Mac Jones against the Dolphins this one, but later in the future, you could see two Alabama quarterbacks, well, former quarterbacks going at each other. But like you said, Patriots got a lot of uh, acquisitions this offseason as well as their defense coming back. I got them winning this game, I say 21-16 Patriots. Next game, uh, I mean, no one, no one really cares. Broncos at Giants. Giants. It'd be a good game if both quarterbacks were good. It'd be yeah. a good game if both quarterbacks were good. But I got the Giants in this one. I don't think there's no way you lose this game, honestly. The, the, the Broncos defense, though, is is solid, though. It is solid. Say, right. Like, second day. Really good secondary, yeah. I think it's gonna be low scoring. I'd say uh probably the same score as last game, 17-14 Giants. Okay. Um I'm gonna roll with the Giants. I'll roll with the Giants. This would be a close one as well. I got them winning 24-17. Broncos' offense isn't that talented yet. They do got Jerry Judio uh-huh. and Corlin Sutton at wide outs, but like I said, quarterback play, not the best there, unless they get Aaron Rodgers somehow. But right now, they don't. So I'm going to roll with the Giants in the debut. Saquon Barkley's back, hopefully healthy. And their defense was really good last year. So, I got Giants, like I said, 24-17. Next game on the list, it's Packers at Saints. I like the Saints. Just because we don't know the whole Packers situation, Jameis is going to probably come out. He has been working. He's been working. So, let's see if it's going to show on the field. And the uh, Saints defense is still going to be top six. Seven Saints defense will probably be like top seven. So I think the Saints are gonna come out, they're gonna take it. I think score yeah. will be twenty-seven to twenty-four. Yeah, I like New Orleans in this one as well. Um, not much to say really. I mean Packers without A Rod, this is not a good game. I even though they whooped them last year with A Rod, but right. We're questioning right now A-Rod's ability to play, well, wanting to play for the Packers. Mm -hmm. So I got to go with the team that actually has a 
coordinated quarterback, Jameis Winston, and Sean Payton is a good head coach as well. So I'll say Saints win 31-21 this game. Now for the Sunday night game, we got Bears at Rams. Battle of the defense. Oh, now listen, I got the Rams in this game. Because Bears said they're going to stick with Andy Dalton because they don't want to rush Justin Fields into something he's not ready for. I don't know what that means, but just for that, you're going to lose to the Rams. Defense definitely going to be top five for sure. And you got to face Matthew Stafford now. So uh, top five defense, top ten offense, I would say. And you're going to lose, I'd say, 20, 23 to 14, 23 to 14. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, having Andy Dalton play for a little bit, see what happens there. But mm-hmm. I like Matthew Stafford. I think he'll have a good year with the Rams. Um, I got the Rams winning this game as well. Not much to say, you know, got the two most dominant players in the mm-hmm. game, probably on defense right now, Aaron Donald sure. Ramsey versus Andy Dalton. Right. So Let's be real. I say this is a blowout, probably twenty eight. 10. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. And for the last game, the week one, Monday night is Baltimore visiting the Raiders. Stop. <laughs> Come on now, man. I don't even have to say anything. I don't have to say anything. It's a blowout. It's a blowout. We're going to beat them in their first game in their new stadium. We're going to beat them. Bad. Blowout. Come on now. Let's be real here. Come on now. New additions to the offense. Got some cool, got some nice additions to the defense. Who did they add? Who the Raiders had? If anything, they lost more than they added. Come on now. Especially the line. Derek Carr, he's cool. Josh Jacobs, he's cool. Who they ain't they just signed Kenyon Drake? Kenyon Drake? Come on now. Come on. Come on. Henry Ruggs? He'd be good with anybody else. The system he's in there isn't working for him. Uh who else? I don't know. Come on now. Ravens. Like 28 to 10. Like, come on now. 28 to 10. Ravens. Okay. Hopefully that talk is backed up. Um, I'm going to roll with Baltimore as well in this game. I don't think it will be a blowout, though. I'll tell you that. I don't think it will be a blowout. I think y'all still have a lot to figure out on offense. What y'all going to do this upcoming season with the passing game, at least. But uh, just alone, y'all can y'all could run it down their necks this game, honestly, if you wanted to. So, for that reason, I, I say Baltimore wins 27-17. Not mad at it. Not mad at that. Not mad at that. It will that. Be, a good, be an interesting game. It will be interesting, y'all. But, hey, thank you guys for tuning into this episode. That's going to wrap it up. Um, Reminder. Juice and Lube merch is coming soon. We're gonna have more information. I'm gonna wear my uh, to you guys on that. We're gonna wear that, yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But um, until tomorrow, it's your boys Juice and Lou, and we out of here. Peace. Molly off the drug, I got